this is the time right now. Uh, th- this is the time. There is so much right now just to allow into transformation. You, you chose this. You chose to be here with this group that you call Crimson Circle, Chambra. You chose to be exactly where you are in your life right now. There's no mistakes about it whatsoever. These changes that are occurring, and, and again, you could say the epicenter was the, the virus. The changes that are occurring right now, very, very rapidly, are actually one of the most brilliant ways of affecting uh, a, a change not only to this planet, but to all of physical creation. And it, it is that gigantic, it is that profound and impressive. There is tremendous inherent goodness in humanity, and I know you can see it. I know it gets depressing at times because you, you wonder if it's still there. Absolutely. And there's truly more goodness in humanity right now than there was a hundred years ago, mm. or five hundred, or definitely two thousand years ago. There's more consciousness on the planet. It is that goodness of humanity that you, as realized masters on the planet, are going to be tapping into, feeling into. You're not going to try to manipulate it or change it or anything else like that. But as you allow your light to shine, your, your consciousness to radiate, that's where it really, really goes right away. It inspires those, that 97 percent of the world's population, that has such goodness and hope. They have such hope. And yes, sometimes they're gullible. Sometimes they, they fall prey to bad leaders or bad businesses. But when we in the future uh, do our shouds and some of our morabs as true embodied masters, we're going to really tap into that, that goodness of humanity. We're not going to worry about the other stuff. It will become noise. It will become um, a little distraction, but not a big one. And pretty soon, with that goodness and your light and all the changes that are happening anyway, and the whole warping of time right now, and everything else going on on the planet, ah, that's going to make such great change for this planet to enter into their true uh, next age. And it would not be possible if it wasn't for you and others like you. Imagine, and I mean this in all truth, you're having your flourless cake or whatever you choose to eat. You're having your latte, but it might have some sugary stuff in it. You're not even worried about your body, because your body has done this great leap into the free energy body. Everything balances itself almost instantly. And that's, that's where we're going. That is a no macchio, no qualification, no asterisk, no fine print note from me to all of you. And we're here right now, in this epicenter of the change on the planet. Things will never be the same again. Humans will go through a time of processing, of uh, changing over, of adjusting, of recalibrating, and then we have the imaginers, the six and a half percent of the population, who are there. They're ready. They're ready to imagine a new world. It's really about owning everything that's happening to you right now, owning everything. It's difficult to do sometimes because you don't want to own the aches and the pains of your body, but own them, because they're there for a reason. Your anxiety, own that anxiety. Eat it up. Go right into it instead of trying to run from it. This, If there is any message in all the years that I've been talking to you, any message that needs to be clearly understood, any message that I really want to drive home, it's right now. And it's to own whatever you're going through. Yes, relationship issues, mental confusion, fogginess, dreams at night, your irritation, your depression, doubts, you get sick, your own demons, your own dragon coming after you. Own everything 
that is happening in your life right now. In these days ahead, uh, as a reminder, don't worry about the outside world right now. Don't get caught up in the causes. Don't get caught up in the sides. There are no sides. That is perhaps one of the greatest things that you as masters are going to be teaching. And it's going to be one of the things that humans resist the most. They want to have sides, whether it's their masculine or feminine, whether it's their light or dark, rich or poor. They are duality-oriented creatures at this point. And the last thing a, a true embodied master does is take sides. Ultimately, it's all about owning yourself. I can take almost any issue that's happening on the planet right now, and you start connecting the dots. Even though the dots you know, are a little strange at times, it comes back to energy, sovereignty, and owning thyself. So right now, in these next, let's call it 30 to 60 days, please own whatever is happening to you.